Hey guys, I'm doing a quick video on what I believe every homeowner should own, and it's a FLIA camera. I own a lot of tools, construction grade tools. I could probably go into business and construction with all the tools I own. The most valuable tool I have is a FLIA camera. Now, FLIA prices have dropped so much that now they're affordable. As a homeowner, you could probably pick up one of these cameras for about $1,500 now. I'm going to show you the camera, and I'm going to show you what I do with this camera. Okay guys, this is my FLIR 7. I picked this up for slightly under $1,500. And I've had it for about two years. They're cheaper now and they're coming out with better and better cameras each year. Now this camera here, I've used it to find clogs and pipes. I know where all my air conditioning lines and ducts run when the air condition is on. I know where all my, all my heating lines are. I can tell you where all my uh, cold water lines are. I could tell you how far the studs are spaced apart in my basement. I could also tell you if I had a, a small leak that was not detectable yet through sheetrock. You know, usually when you get a leak, you notice that your sheetrock is uh, stained. I could tell you before the sheetrock gets stained if you have a leak. This thing is great. I had people call me to help me find leaks coming from their roofs. I had one guy had a a leak coming from his roof and it was getting into his basement. I mean, it wasn't hitting the second floor or the first floor. It was going in his basement. And I was able to, uh, after a rainy day, go out there and film the side of his house and notice that there was a pattern of uh, moisture in the bricks leading down to the basement. You could even tell if there are insects behind wood uh, or burrowing in wood. Like uh, termites leave a heat signature when they're in, in two by fours and studs. So you'll know if there's if you have a garage area and you want to inspect the rafters or any wood exposed on the roof or or on your walls, you can check to see if there are termites in there with this uh, FLIR. I mean, it's a, it's a wonderful tool to have. And I'm going to go around the house and I'm going to show you some some applications, just simple applications that I noticed that I use this for. I uh, every three months I check the entire house over, over to make sure that there are no leaks in my plumbing to see if I'm losing any uh, heat through or, or, or uh, air conditioning through any bad insulation or spots that need to be insulated into the house. Uh, let's get going and I'll show you what I can do with this. Okay, this is my basement wall. Let's start with this wall. You're going to see I got some, I got a baseboard heat on the bottom. I got a window there. Let's say I wanted to find out where the studs were. Take my FLIA camera, point it right to the wall. See those blue lines? Those are my studs. What happens is there's a temperature difference from the studs laying on the sheetrock. And there you have it. That's how you can tell where your studs are. Now on the bottom here, that glow, that yellowish glow, that's the baseboard generating heat. Let's look at the window. Okay, I see I need some insulation on the bottom of the window here. See where the blue is? Let me take the camera away. That's the window. The blue part, I have air coming in on the bottom of that window, so I need to put some insulation there, maybe cork it. Okay, there's my ceiling. Let's see where the hot water lines are coming through. They should turn up red or yellow. There you go. All my hot water lines are right here. Right here. They run in here. So next time I put a nail in the wall, I'll be careful enough to know where my hot water lines run. And if they kind of tee off from here into one of the baseboards over my uh, kitchen. You see the line going in, going up there? That's 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 a T. That's a heating line going into my kitchen. Look at this. Look how sensitive this is. See my hand? I just touched the wall. Let me back up. Let me put my FLIA camera up there. You see my handprint? There's a thousand uses for this. Let me show you under one of my sinks. Okay, here's my drain on my kitchen sink. And there's my cat. Wondering what I'm doing. But there's the drain under the kitchen sink. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to turn on, you can actually see the water flow in there. So if there was a clog, you'd be able to see You'll actually be able to see the clog, but let me turn it on. Let's see if it's running perfect. Let's see if it's running good. 
I got the hot water line running. And let's see what we got here on the camera. There's the pipe. And you can see that the hot water line, the hot water, is making its way down the pipe. You can actually see where the hot water lines are because they're starting to glow yellow. Now, if there was a clog, see how evenly spaced this line was? Is if there was a clog, you would notice that it was fat and then it would turn thinner. Okay, now you're getting more definition because it's warming up. As you can see, there are no leaks. If there was a leak, you would actually see the water running out of the pipe and dripping on the bottom. So this has no leaks in here at all. That's, I, ch I do this periodically. I go under each cabinet. It's dark under there. I don't even need a flashlight. I just turn it on and I check out how my pipes are going. Now you see, that's the hot water. Let me turn on the cold water. Okay, you're gonna notice that the pipe is changing now to blue because that's the color of cold on the infrared camera. If I point it on the pipe, now it's at 77 degrees, it's going down. Measures temperature. During the summer, I take this camera and I measure my temperature coming out of my air conditioning ducts to make sure that it's proper. There you have it, it's running in there. Let's see the cold line. Now you see that's that's the hot water line. The cold line is right here. It's going through a filter right now. Here's my filter. The filter looks hot, that's reflection off the of metal. Sometimes it reflects like a hot color. But as you can see, no leaks. There's no blue droplets on the floor. If it was hot water, you see red droplets on the floor, but there's no leak. And eventually, this pipe here will turn blue. Right now, it's just hot. I have a, because it's going through a filter, my, my uh, water's coming out at a slower stream. You could even check electrical lines. Like if a BX cable was warming up on me, or a Romex cable was warming up on me, it would show up as, you know, red hot on this. That's BX, so it reflects yellow, but it would be a red color or white color if it was overheating. But if you take the panel off, this is my panel, circuit breakers. As you can see, everything's an even color in here. That's my uh, interlock switch. I did a video on that if you want to see it. But all my breakers are a blue color, which means they're cool. If I was having a problem with a breaker, it would be white or orange telling me that there's a lot of heat coming out of that breaker. That's, the interlock switch is reflecting a yellowish color big heat. It's reflecting, it gives you the appearance there's heat, but it's not, it's cold. It's just re doing a reflection. These uh, metal reflects, especially uh, shiny metal. It reflects back a hot color sometimes, or your actual reflection if you're in it. Okay, my first floor bathroom is over the ceiling. I take the infrared camera, and I check for water leaks, and I have none. Water leaks, oh, there's a heat signature here, and that is from a light, but water leaks would show up as a blue spot. So even though the sheetrock looks normal, which it does, if there was a water leak that hasn't penetrated the sheetrock, sometimes you get a slow leak that does that for years, I could find it with this FLIR camera. And I could tell you that my bathroom on the first floor is okay. There's no leaks. There's another heat source. That's part of a radiator. There's a radiator in that bathroom. So that's where my plumbing is for my radiant heat. So um, I'm telling you, this tool is great. Okay, this is my basement door from the looks of it. Everything looks okay, right? Let's put a camera up to it and see what happens. Okay, there's my basement door. Let's check around the door. I have a small leak up there of cold air coming in. I have some more cold air coming in down the edges. It's not that bad there. Well, it's, it's severe in that little spot there. It's not that bad here. 
that's from the window and then when you go to the bottom you see the dark blue spots that's where you need to add insulation and I need some insulation here where those dark blue spots are so I could save all my energy bills here's my baseboard heating sometimes you get air in the baseboards and it keeps a section of it from heating so it won't heat properly let's look at the camera there's my baseboard the white is the really hot section of the baseboard as I, as you can see it's pretty even throughout which tells me my baseboard's functioning properly you see right here see it stops that's just where it joins that's nothing to worry about so by using this you can even tell where the joints are, where, where it's uh, soldered on your baseboards where the connections are but I even have to sit down, there's another one there's another connection there okay here's my living room wall on the first floor looks normal right let's see what the FLIR sees okay tells me my TV was turned on because it's hot that's um, plasma so it gives off heat it gives off quite a considerable amount of heat 82 degrees now you're gonna notice those two blue lines what is that I could tell you what it is because in the summertime when I turned on my air conditioning you see the walls were a reddish color they're blue now because there's cold outside but these dark blue spots these two dark blue lines going down are my air conditioning six inch tubes going downstairs into the basement so that's how my central AC goes from the roof down to the basement so I know not to put any holes in those two areas because I might puncture the air conditioning tubing. I mean, this is a this is a great tool to have. It tells you what's behind the walls. It tells you what's going on in the walls. Oh, look, there you go. See those? Those are my hi hats. And there's a little bit of cold air getting in around those hi hats. So because they're LED hi hats. I could put insulation against them, so I'm going to go up on the roof and uh, put some insulation to keep the cold out. You're going to see you're going to see blue spots in the corners. You're going to see blue spots. That's usually very hard to insulate around the blue spots, so you get a little bit of cold air. But I have snow on my roof, and I don't have any water coming in. I just got a patch of missing insulation insulation there, and a little cold spot around my high hats this is my vent I need insulation around the vent too from my air conditioning see that's what I see that's what the camera sees the vent is warm but I'm losing a little bit of uh, heat it is escaping where the blue spots are Okay, I'm going to wrap up the video, put the camera back in my protective case, and uh, tell you, you know, there are other uses for this camera, and, you know, that people, once you own one and you start to appreciate what it does, you find uses for it. Like my father had uh, his car here the other day, and right after he drove here, I took the Fleer camera out, and I started looking at his front tires, and one side of the one tire was heating up more than the other so like the inside thread was heating up more than the outside thread of the tire so it was showing me uneven wear on the tires and that's great because he was able to go to the mechanic and find out he had a problem with his car and get it fixed there there are many uses for this camera at night when you hear something in your backyard and you can't see and you, the floodlights don't reach it turn on the camera the person out there won't even know you have a FLIR camera on them. You don't need a light to see what's in your backyard. You could see what kind of animal or what kind of person or who's in your backyard 
or what's going on at night around you with this FLIA camera, it has a thousand uses and I think every homeowner should have one of these cameras. They're going down really low in price right now. This, they're becoming very affordable. These units were about $3,000 when they first came out. Some of them were even $5,000. Now they dropped to $1,500. The reason I ended up buying this was because my dad had a leak in one of the ceilings in his kitchen. And I couldn't tell where the leak was coming from because it was showing up on the floor. It wasn't showing up on the ceiling. But when I put the flea, we bought the flea camera and we realized that it wasn't a leak from a pipe. It was just condensation coming down from a pipe. And we were able to fix that without having to tear out most of the wall or pull up the granite that was on his countertops. It was, it was a pretty hard to find leak. And I pretty much found it with this FLIA camera. I was just able to tear up a section of it. And it saved me $1,500 in just repair costs. So it was well worth it for me to buy this camera. It might be worth it for you too. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you like my videos, subscribe and share.